and he said, come here. Han, who said she was a virgin, was mortified. Baker claims she was a willing participant. He, he picks me up and he lies me down on the bed and he said, it's going to take care of everything. He says, you know, Tammy just doesn't make me feel like he climbs on top of me. And he just said, open your mouth. According to Han, this was just the beginning. And he slid down and he just began to have sex with me. And it was to the point that I was like, this is all new to me. Han says the encounter lasted nearly an hour. Finally, it was over. Han says as she lay on the bed and wept, according to numerous press reports, Han staggered into the shower and threw up. But then the door opened and John Fletcher came in. Han begged him to help her get home. After all, Fletcher himself had baptized her into the church. She had always respected him. But Han says it was Fletcher himself who changed her ordeal from awful to unspeakable. And this guy jumps on me. He pulls off whatever towel I had, and he starts having sex with me. To the Fletcher even told Baker that God had ministered to them that day, and Baker agreed. But just when it seemed like she might spend the night in peace, John Fletcher walked into the room with another man from the telethon. Han begged Fletcher to help her get home, leaving Han alone with the strange man who has never been identified. Han, still naked in her bloody sheets, told the man that he was sorely mistaken if he thought he was going to touch her. The man stammered that Fletcher had implied the two might do something together. Han told the man to get out. The man left. He also reportedly told her he and Baker would be in touch. In 1985, a concerned friend introduced Jessica to a law student, and he quickly became Jessica's legal advisor. With his help, Jessica made a $265,000 deal with Baker's ministry, PTL, to keep her secret for 20 more years. Han's detractors got a big boost when journalists reported that Han had an intimate relationship with her hometown pastor, Gene Perfetta. Perfetta and I just like got close when I was like 19 years old. Sure, she's having, you know, some kind of uh, at least soft core sexual encounter with this minister. Han's old life as a church secretary was gone forever. She put the final nail in the coffin herself in late 1987 when she announced that she was going to pose in Playboy. I think the reason I decided to pose for Playboy and not worry is I was like kind of like, you know what, this is for the people who tell me to put band-aids over my nipples. These are the people who made me feel so inhibited and so insecure. Doing this because I need money desperately. I think it gave her a whole new sense of self. The deal was worth nearly a million dollars, and the enormous sales of the issue came as a surprise to everyone. Han became a media darling, and the former church secretary was remade as a bad girl. 